any time anyone tells me that something is expired, something is obsolete, it just makes me want it more. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'm gonna make hella shit that I don't become you. It is the abundance of things which make me hate them. If everybody is shooting the latest and greatest 100 megapixel camera, who cares? That's not something I'm into. What I like is searching for those things which are very difficult to achieve. Heck, in this case, today, I would like to discuss with you a camera which is actually 100% obsolete. Mm. This time, this is gonna be relatively challenging. Classic. There's a classic American hammer if I ever saw one. Just a gentle little tap. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Polaroid Landcam 450. There is not actually that much information online about these older cameras. These Polaroid cameras were built in the 70s and they use cartridges which go in the back and you would make an image and the cartridge would instantly be able to be removed and then develop right there and then. Or Fuji FP100. If you look on eBay for that film stock, it's about $10 a shot. You're looking at about $100 for 10 of those instant film slides. They go in the camera and they are expired, which means you're already gambling when you use that film stock. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that we should still be using these somewhat obsolete film bodies if we can. What does that mean? It means that he, you, anybody can use an abundant film stock. 120 is still made and still produced and is still for sale at a very reasonable price. You can pick up a roll of 120 for less than $20. Here's the issue. This Mamma Mia C3 is a beautiful medium format absolutely wonderful camera to use. The problem is that the C3 retails these days for upwards of $500. You can find C3s and C330s online for relatively good prices, but maybe they're gonna have something wrong. Maybe you need to repair it and you're gonna spend so much money. This is a beautiful medium format camera. So then, let's talk about these obsolete land cams. This particular 450 is very special. Special because this lens and this rangefinder unit was manufactured by none other than Carl Zeiss. This is considered, this, the 250 and the 350, were considered high-end. And that's because the rangefinder system and the three-element glass lens were fantastic are fantastic. Right now in Goodwill thrift stores, Landfill, there are a bunch of these beautifully made Carl Zeiss components that are just rotting. And this particular beautiful 450 I picked up for less than a pint of lager in my local hipster brewery. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can change this camera, if we can make it medium format, if that's possible today, then I am gonna be extremely happy and I think that we can do it. Now here are the 3D parts. This is what you could expect to receive from wherever it is that you bought them. Now that's 126 by six. So here we have, this part's actually separate, this little wheel separate. And that's where your pickup spool is going to go. This is going to sit in the back of the camera. And then obviously that's your 120 hub that sits on top of the film itself. So pretty straightforward. Those are the parts. Now, when you get this, when you print it out, this particular part here is not going to be attached. That's going to be separate. Now, what you can see there 
is I've actually attached that using glue and then I've put these studs, three studs into the actual camera itself. Now you could obviously go ahead and spray this part or you could decorate it as you like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it together as it is with this color. I'm not too bothered, I'm not too bougie. You can see that we've printed this out and it's pretty rough. So if you like, you can go ahead and take a file and just clean that up. I'm not gonna bother. For this first round, I'm just gonna put everything together as it is and see if it works fresh off the printer. And then I'll probably just use light seals to prevent light leaks. But initially, I might just use my classic gaff tape and gaff tape up all of those holes and potential gaps so that I don't get light leaks. So the camera itself then, I need to remove this entire back in order to be able to replace it with my new 120 cartridge back. And that basically just fits on there like that. So the way that we do this is I need to remove the pin from in here. This held together by these plastic, can you see those little plastic tabs? I need to basically pull those out and then knock the pin out. So I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers and see if I can just pull that out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Classic. There's a classic American hammer if I ever saw one. Just a gentle little tap. And once that pin's removed that we're gonna save, then we should just be able to and remove the entire back. Now this is being replaced. Replace. Now there's that beautiful, now there's that beautiful three element glass lens in there. You can see all the fixings. And now essentially, this is actually a very light camera. We've removed all of that mechanical backing and it's probably dropped the weight by about a third. And we're gonna replace that with this beautiful 3D printed back and innards, if you like which actually weigh not much. So pretty straightforward. Everything should just fit together nicely. As you can see, everything kind of just lines up. Once my bar's in, I'm gonna essentially alleviate all of those potential light leaks by just using gaff tape. And there you have it. So essentially, after trimming off my uh, excess, you can see that we've replaced the bar and then we've taped over that joint. Essentially, the innards are a 3D printed base insert, which just slides in and fits nice and snug. Should just pop into place. Top right, you see that roller insert and that's it, you guys. Easy peasy. I mean, yeah, this, is uh, expired HP5, February 2023, but who cares? Why do I love the LAM cams? It's so simple. This particular beautiful camera folds up to nothing. Look at that. This, it's tiny. That placed on a strap on your side, wandering around is beautiful. If you look at the C3, it's quite bulky. It looks a bit like a brick and it feels pretty heavy as well. You might not be able to read that, what is printed on the back of this 3D printed component. It says, hack and instant. Hack and instant. That is the person. That is the person responsible for creating this entire concept. The person behind the Instagram page and the YouTube page Hack an Instant did not want to let these cameras go to landfill. He designed a concept, created the 3D print for this 450 camera. And it's free on his website, which is, you can go ahead and download the specs, download the file to create these 3D components for this particular land cam. 450. Now this is the 120 six by six conversion that I 3D printed. Very, very simply. You just download the file, upload it to your 3D printer, and it will print these components for you. Now this particular one, a good friend of mine actually printed these parts for me. But if you go on Hack and Instance page, 
he will suggest somebody or a company that can print these for you for about $25. And now let's total that up so far. The camera, you should be able to get for free. Or if you, if you pay over 15 bucks for one of these cameras, I will be shocked. So let's say all in right now, the components and the camera, you're looking at about $30. $30 for a Carl Zeiss lens, a Carl Zeiss rangefinder, a beautiful metallic camera that shoots 120 six by six film, modern, achievable film. But is it possible? How easy is it to convert one of these? Can I do it? If I can do it, you can do it. So let's together right now, disassemble this camera, re reassemble the camera with the new printed parts and see if it works. And if it does, my goodness, I will be a happy fellow. Let's do it. Now I realize that this may seem far-fetched, but here we go, 3D printed components. Easy disassemble, easy assemble. And now I have a Landcam Carl Zeiss 450 and I'm just threading that 120 film into that roll. This, the hub, easy peasy, just slots in and that forces that film down